Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Senior Airman Christiana Scott. Keeping the airfield operational is vital to readiness, especially in the Pacific. Senior Airman Brayton Metzger takes us to Osan Air Base, where airmen work and learn alongside other nations. There are a lot of different jobs within civil engineering. Whether it's power production or the dirt boys, they're all important when it comes to fixing the airfield. Today, U.S. airmen work with other countries to make those repairs. We've had uh, a training exercise involving the U.S. Air Force, the uh, Republic of Singapore Air Force, and some observers from the Republic of Korea Air Force. So it's important that we develop their capabilities so that they can respond for themselves or that they can enable uh, other countries to respond. This isn't just a time to practice with other countries involved. It's a chance to see how they get it done. I think it was magnificent to bring those guys here. And like, they're dirt boys as well, you know, in their Air Force. Uh, it, was, it was really surprising to see how much we have in common. Finding similarities in how to get the job done made it easy to bypass the language barriers and focus on the task at hand. It's a, it's a great feeling, you know, just to know that we have to get the airfield back ready to get the airplanes in the air to take care of our country protect those that, we're, that we love and care about. And it's also feeling to know that we're very important you know, when it comes to uh, getting the mission done. Even though there are a lot of different people from different countries doing different jobs, it all adds up to keeping the airfield ready. Senior Airman Brayton Metzger, Osan Air Base, Korea. This was the first time that Silver Flag, a yearly civil engineering exercise, was done with three countries. That was your Korea Update. I'm Senior Airman Christiana Scott.